Hi everybody, welcome to the Wonder Basement and I have got a quick little tutorial on using a Christmas for a Christmas card or ornament using the Ring with Nature stamp set and this really cool um, tree rings die which actually is a hybrid set. So it's <clears throat> it comes along with a 3D embossing folder and um, you can actually put the dies in the embossing folder, put the paper here, run it through and you will get all of these pieces cut out and embossed and it's really really a fun a fun die so it's kind of cool I'm going to show you that and this is the stamp set we're going to be working with and I have chosen um, a couple colors that are not necessarily uh, Christmas colors I decided to go with a base color uh, Mamo Melon and then my accent color is going to be the Granny Apple Green and we're going to pair this with some shimmer cardstock and um, some embellishments so let's get started. Okay the first thing I'm going to do is I have my um, poinsettia from the stamp set mounted on my, um, my acrylic block. I am going to stamp this randomly on the front of my card. This is going to be my card base. This is um, four inches wide by five and a quarter inches long. And I am just going to randomly, oh, when this happens, sometimes that tells you that you need to have a little bit of a spongy um, bottom underneath your, or base underneath your acrylic ink or stamp mats are great for that so I'm just going to lay this down here actually I'm going to put my put that under my paper let's see if I can get this sometimes you can get it um, with a stamp image jig you can always get it exactly but sometimes you can get it when you're using the photopolymer so I'm going to give it a try I'm just lining up stamp and I'm going to press down and we'll see how that looks. Not too bad. So what it tells me is that because the photopolymer doesn't have any um, actual rubber underneath here or sponge cushion underneath here, um, sometimes it will like just not get enough, will not get enough pressure on the top and so um, that's what happens. That's what that means when you're using photopolymer. If you're not getting a complete image, that's probably why. So I'm just going to go finish this. And you'll see as I'm stamping with the spongy, um, with the stamping mat underneath me, it's going to stamp beautifully. So I'm just going to take, I love this poinsettia. And I decided to go with the poinsettia just because it was staring at me and I needed to stamp it. Okay, see right here where I accidentally, I didn't stamp all the way when, or ink, re-ink all the way when I um, re-inked this. So again, we'll see if I can do it two times in one card. Sometimes that's asking a lot. There we go. So <clears throat> you can see how photopolymer does lend itself to correcting mistakes that you might have in your just general stamping. So, okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my saying, which is Merry Christmas. And again, these all come in the Ringed with Nature stamp set that's available in our holiday 2022 um, mini catalog. And it has um, anniversary, thinking of you, get well soon, Merry Christmas, and it's got all of these images. So it's really a fun all-around set. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green um, marker, which this is the same ink or same kind of ink that is in our stamp pads. So I'm just going to take and the brush tip end, and I'm going to just do the Mary and then I'm just going to randomly put my Mary in between my poinsettias. I really love these colors together. I kind of am a more um, 
I don't know, sometimes I like real traditional colors and then other times I like some kind of trendy and more um, whimsical colors for my Christmas decorating. It just kind of depends on what kind of mood I'm in. And that can all be in my same in the same house. You know, I mean, I might have a whimsical tree and I might have a couple traditional trees. You just never know. It's what really mood strikes me when I'm decorating which it's going to be here before we know it. I can't. And it doesn't matter that you get ink, you know, kind of down. You can see where it's kind of getting down in between my um, image. That will not show when I'm stamping. I just want to keep getting good coverage on my actual Mary. And some people, sometimes you can also, if this gets too dry, you can also kind of um, blow on it, like, with your breath, and that will rejuvenate it just a little bit, give it a little moisture to, um, to re-ink. See, right here I'm going to do this. There, and I think that's good to go. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to take, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Granny Apple stamp, or Granny Apple Green ink pad to make a, an image. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my image. Just I'm inking this up really well. And I'm just going to, Right down like that. <clears throat> and with this, I am going to, you could cut out a label or you could just cut it and square it off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some fussy cutting and let me get a little closer for you to see this. See how I do this. I'm really going to just, I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to take about an eighth of an inch away from my lettering and I'm just going to kind of mimic the script. I'm just barely um, kind of outlining the word. And I am also not really moving my scissors, I'm more moving my paper as I go through and do this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is handmade, so. And some people love to fussy cut. I happen to be a person that I really find this relaxing. So I tend to fussy cut a lot of my images, even when I have dyes that are available to use. Which actually, it really helps speed up the process when you have a dye. But I don't sweat it. You can always cut things out. Because not everything comes with a dye. For instance, this poinsettia does not come with a dye. So then I have this cute little, and it's kind of a matted um, greeting card that I'm going to use as I build my card. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to back out just a little, little, little bit. And I have already stamped um, one of the poinsettias. But again, I'm going to fussy cut and I'm doing it pretty much the exact same way. I'm just curving the tips of my flower and leaving about an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. of edge around my flower. I just love to fussy cut. I, I love it and then when I'm making a bunch I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But it's a fun thing to do while you're just listening to the TV or the radio or Christmas music. Whatever your pleasure. So there you go. So now I've got these two pieces that I am going to use for the front of my card. Now, the next thing that I want is that I want 
to get my wood pieces cut with my um, 3D embossing folder. I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to set this aside for a second. And I'm going to bring the old embossing, cut and emboss machine. So what we're going to do is we are going to take we're going to take our 3D embossing folder and we're going to lay our die right in this crevice. It's kind of it kind of fits in a crevice. Then we're going to lay our paper here. I think I'll use this one. I'm just going to fold this over. Now I know I'm not going to use this. I know I'm not going to use this bottom piece. I'm just going to use one of these pieces. So I'm just I'm not going to worry about that being a, the paper being a little bit short. And then I'm going to take my gray, um, my number four gray um, plate, and that's what you use. And so it's just the cutting plate and the. Um, top the gray number four and I'm gonna roll this through it's so cool. I can't wait for you to see it and you can see now we have cut pieces that are also embossed you can see it better this way I think kind of this way so this is so cool and I'm using um, shimmery white cardstock because I want this to have a little bit of shimmer and this is what I mean this cut off this little end but see it does emboss the rest of the page so you could leave this hole and not not use this and you would have a cool wood background okay so the next thing I need to do I have my um, my little wood pieces. The next thing I need to do is I need to put, I need, I need some leaves from this particular um, set of embossing dies. So I'm going to just lay my cutting plate here. I'm going to put my shimmery white cardstock. This also comes so that you can cut um, actual shapes out of the wood pieces without embossing so that's kind of cool you could put um, sayings and things like that um, in those and then it has all of these cute little guys it has some um, berries it has a little acorn which is adorable and then it's got a bunch of different leaves and we are going to use these leaves, the long ones, and I think I just used the long ones. We're not going to use the shorter ones, but we are going to use the berries. I'm going to get a couple of those. I'll have to run it through a couple of times. And then this piece, if you're wondering what this little piece is, this is actually a piece that can go, let me put it on the brown so here's the brown, or I did it in craft, and this is just a little piece to put in the center of your wood that just sort of gives it more um, realistic look. So you would just run that through and cut those out. That was a curiosity because we weren't sure exactly when we got this. Um, and this also has like the acorn is an emboss and a cut, so it's going to give your acorn a little bit of texture. So that's kind of fun. And, okay, so I'm going to put these up. So we're really just going to use these three. So now I'm going to get ready to uh, and put my card together. So I've got about six of the little twigs, and then I've got two sets of berries. And this is cut out in the shimmer. So this is the shimmer white is the card base. It's the pieces here, and it's the log pieces. I've cut out a, just fussy cut, a poinsettia. And then I've also fussy cut my Merry Christmas. This is also on shimmer white. So kind of shimmer white is my other color along with melon mambo and then my accent color is the Mary. 
this onto my card base. I'm going to actually use um, some of this gorgeous white, um, what do they call it? Just a frayed ribbon. It's, it is so soft and supple. I love it. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to put some stamp and seal right here on the back of the card. And then I am just going to fold this over and stick this down. I'm going to make sure it's kind of straight on the center. I also want it down enough so that one of my when I put my um, embellishment on, it is going to show. And I want it to be off the card. I'm just going to cut that off. And then I'm going to use some more stamp and seal. And I'm just going to put this on the back of my card. And then I'm just going to Make sure that this area is even. So, here we've got our card and here's my little um, wood piece. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cutout of my poinsettia and I am just going to put a ton of adhesive all the way around the edges because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, I'm just going to kind of build a little Poinsettia arrangement. So I'm going to take these pieces and I'm just going to see if I have this sticky everywhere then this will this will stick easier. So I'm just going to take and put a couple of these on here and now <clears throat> if you don't have it everywhere you may have to add a little more onto the back of the ones you're sticking on but I think this is going to work. So there's my berries and I want a little bit of berries on the, this downside down here just like that. How cute is that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm eventually going to adhere it on here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back over and I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to lay it and I'm probably going to use maybe three or four of these. It's overkill but I'm just kind of covering up where the adhesive is not got anything on it and then that will also adhere those little pieces really well okay so now what we're gonna do so I'm just laying this kind of on here I don't have it attached this yet I'm just lay this down see I want my points that I kind of just kind of play around with it till you get it where you want it <clears throat> and then I want to put the Merry Christmas kind of right through the center of my flower. So in order to do that, you can either use um, the tiny adhesives that we have, or I'm actually just going to take one of my dimensionals and I'm just going to cut it in half. And that's just about the right, right diameter or right width to go right in here. And I'm going to put right here so it doesn't show through on the other side so I've got that sticky I'm just gonna lay this down right on top of that which I love the way that's looking I think that is so pretty I'd be so excited to get that we're not quite finished but we're getting there so I'm going to take and put a oops a dimensional I want one right up here and then I'm going to kind of go across the um, I want to go across the ribbon so I'm just going to put that right there and then I'm going to take one and I'm just going to go ahead and un take the backing off and just lift that up and stick that right down so now I've got it exactly where I want it okay now it needs a little bit more sparkle. It's really, it's coming together and it's pretty, but I, and you can see the shimmer through the ink and on the paper, but I'm going to use some of our iridescent pearl basic jewels and I'm just going to kind of, I think it needs some pearls. Let's see. I think I'm going to put the big pearls in the center of the poinsettias. like this I'm 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I tried to do my embellishments um, in odd numbers just because that seems to work well with the design of the card. So I've got those. And now this comes, the way these are is they've got um, a large and a <clears throat> smaller one. And I'm going to put some of these smaller ones just on the berries. Yeah, I think I'll put two up there. Oops. There we go. And there you go. There's a lovely Christmas card. Now, one last thing I'm going to do, and I do this on all of my cards, um, especially when I'm using a darker base on my um, for my card base. I'm going to open this up. Oh, and see that has a little blurb on it, but it's going to be the back, so that's going to be fine. I'm going to put this in the inside. I think I'm just going to stamp a poinsettia in here because I really love these poinsettias. I'm not using my pad this time. We'll see if I can get it down. I kind of want to show you that you can use it both ways, but see if I got a perfect stamp that time. So you just have to make sure you're putting enough pressure on top of your stamp image whenever you're not using a pad or stamping that. So there you go. There is Merry Christmas Poinsettia card using the Ring with Nature bundle. Thanks for watching.